Champagne Charlie is my name. Champagne drinking is my game. I'll drink every drop there is, is, is. I love the taste of that old fizz, fizz, fizz. Oh, all round town it is the same. By Pop Wilton's Pop is the oldest purpose-built musical, opened as you see it today in 1858. Culture brought to the masses, opera, plays. It was a reflection of society. Not just the cheerful, the sad, the miserable, they turned tragedy into music and they came to cope with it. We know that they were getting nearly 500 people a night in here. The scene in Wilton's must have been truly incredible. Not just because it was full of people, but because it was a sort of inversion. The toffs and the ones with money were down here, crowding in below the balcony where you tended to get sailors and poorer people. George Laban was one of the first people who came here and who moved songs from being folk songs and rural songs into something that was highly commercial. And he did it by hitting upon the finest drink of the day. Moe Shandor not only backed him, they gave him a open landor with six horses. And he was contracted to drive between dates at different halls. By pop, 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 I rose to fame. <laughs> I'm the idol. Wilton's has got this amazing history, but one of the central events for me was the role it played in the Battle of Cable Street, which took place just yards from where we're sitting now, um, when it was used as a refuge point for people engaged in the battle. I was a young girl in Antrim, and I remember that it happened yesterday. It was uh, a busy day, and I walked down the street, and I saw thousands of people both sides of the road, and I wondered what it was. And they told me that Mosley was going to walk down the street. So we said, we go for a walk. And we went down, we came to Cable Street. There was a big lorry turned over there, and they were fighting. And all the people were shouting, they shall not pass all the time, and they were waiting for the police to stop it. Fascism in Great Britain has advanced more rapidly than any other country in the world. Sir Oswald Mosley of the British Union of Fascists, a black shirt leader, tried to march his hordes, some 8,000 people, through East London. You must remember that um, the BUF was modelled very closely on the German Nazi party and to stage a march through East London, this part of East London which was mainly Jewish, was a great provocation. I always say they shall not pass, you know, that was the word all along. Yeah, oh they were proud. Yeah, the East End, they stuck together. Be the best people came from the East End. Lots of the old buildings, the old cafes, uh, shops have all long gone, demolished or were bombed out in the war. I think Wilton's is one of the few places that still really does have an atmosphere that you can breathe in when you're walking through the door. Um, it's been partly renovated, but in fact, um, the way it looks at the moment, I think, looks really interesting. You can actually picture the people that have been here over the years, the various generations, um, and you, as you go around the building, the, the different uses that it's been put to. The first time um, we performed at Wilson's was in July last year. When we first came in to have a conversation initially with them, it, it was, I'd never been here and it was just amazing walking in. We actually came um, to the balcony and the lights were off and um, Francis turned the lights on and it was just poof, and we were like... <gasps> we performed Tiny Wallops here two weeks ago and um, it was amazing. I mean, by the end of the show, there was complete mayhem and people were stood up and cheering and it was just full of sound. The balcony was full of people all standing up and you couldn't see them, but it was amazing. And it's amazing to think that, you know, this was happening over a hundred years ago, exactly how we try and, you know, create the music hall, how we believe it was. Sir John Betjeman got this place listed, which is why it's still here, when the GLC began to knock it down in 1964. Having got it listed, he was amazed to find the Arts Council wouldn't give him money, saying that variety is not art, it's entertainment. I've seen this place roaring, but most of all, when you want to see the place come alive, just come to any concert.
Wilton's lives and it's remarkable and it can only go on. <laughs>